morning. Can you guess what day it is of the week? Maybe Friday? I have on my red, white, and blue, and I have on white slacks. So no question about that. I do this every Friday to show support of the troops. I would love to have all of y'all joining me in doing that. And let Agent on Realty be the ones who are doing this every Friday. Uh, today, I have something very, very uh, important to talk to you about real quickly. Please be careful with your home inspections. You're having home inspections done. Your buyer is signing an agreement with home inspector more than likely. And they need to make sure they know what that agreement says. You, the agent, needs to know what that agreement says. And you need to be extremely careful. One of our agents in the Mount Pleasant office has just had to pay $1,850 and I was able to negotiate that down from $3,300 because of copyright infringement. The home inspector, Mr. Roger Goodman, just said that we had infringed on his copyright by using his uh, home inspector without permission. What happened was he had a listing, the buyer had a contract on it, the, that buyer had a home inspection done by a home team inspection service. And that deal fell through because there were a few things on the inspection that the buyer didn't like. So the seller asked for a copy of the inspection report, which they gave him. They gave him only the summary, but they gave it to him. The listing agent then used that. They took it, they fixed the repairs that were on the inspection report. And he then had a couple other agents interested in the property. So he sent that summary report to those people along with the fact that these things had been repaired. Also, uh, someone called the listing agent and said they were from Charlotte and they were interested in the property, blah, blah, blah. So he sent this person the summary report. Well, Mr. Goodman got very upset about that and accused us of infringing on his copyright. So the truth of the matter is we did not have permission from the inspector to use that and he does own the intellectual rights to his work. Uh, in my opinion, the buyer agent was the one who was really at fault here, but that's not the way he saw it. And so in order for us to get out of that, we had to pay $1,850, which we did, and we are now released from that. But I want to use that to help you not get in that situation. So please do not use a home inspection report from anybody that they've given you unless you know you have permission from the home inspector company itself. Very, very important. Very expensive lesson to learn. We learn by mistakes, and we certainly can learn from this one. So I just want to share with all of you, I don't know what other inspection companies would do what Mr. Goodman did. I don't know. But he felt strongly about it, and so we have paid home team inspection services uh, and I wanted you all to know that that had happened and for you to be careful. Other than that, we have our picnic coming up, 30th anniversary picnic on May the 28th. And I'm excited to say again, we are doing in-person training classes at the Crown Plaza Hotel, May 5th and June 9th. And further in this newsletter, you'll find the detailed instructions about that. Also, what else was I going to say? <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Go for it. Be positive.